Inflation is on the rise. The price of food, goods, and all your basic necessities are on the rise. How do you hedge against this inflation? Mind you, I am not a financial advisor or neither am I an analyst. I am just an opportunist seeker. And by saying that, have you ever thought of emerging economies that can give you a better return on investment? Have you ever looked at African economies? Have you ever looked at Rwanda? Now, let me introduce you to a new condominium development that is taking place in Kio, Rwanda. Welcome to Greenland Condominium Developments. Your one bedroom starts at only 82,000 US dollars. Your two bedrooms starts at 125,000 US dollars. Your three bedroom only starts, can you imagine that? 158,000 US dollars. That is some amazing return on investments. Have you ever thought about buying a real asset in a time like this when inflation is so high, where they can manage your property for you, rent your property for you, and all you have to do is look at your deposits every month going straight into your account. My friend, Africa is on the rise. And invest in Africa because you'll get a better return and investment.
Great area. So I'm just gonna give you an idea how clean and nice it is. So this is a new Greenland project that's coming up. And uh, I'm just gonna go up now and show you the, the showroom so you can get an idea of what the room is gonna look like. All right. the showroom we had. If you want to buy a place you come here and pick your furniture and you pick your tiles and you pick everything. So you pick your furniture here. You pick your beds, you pick your tables, you pick your styles. And it's just like Toronto, just like in the US. You pick the model, you pick the stuff that you require. We will have a bigger showroom in the deck no. in the building. We have visiting and we import from Turkey. So this is what the design. What units this will be again? Can you? This is our model, Greenland model. This is a Greenland model. Yeah, yeah. So like I just showed the Greenland model a while ago, I just came up the hill, so this is what the models look like. What price are they starting at, Sunny? Price from one bedroom mm -hmm. uh, is $82,000. One bedroom, 82K. For one bedroom, ground floor. One bedroom, 82K, and? Uh, we have a three bedroom also, like 200K. 200k yeah, and what about the two like that for different floor and different room type the price is totally different Where is it located? Yeah. just in the one we visited no, we just, oh, we okay. just yeah and the same embassy here yeah. no 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 oh. just we pass by oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you there the other yeah. construction yeah. yeah that one so mm -hmm. we're going to be like this yeah. and this is the room type one bedroom three bedroom and the two bedroom design have look and how much the two bedrooms go for 100 from 125 so you, you hear that guys? Yes. And remind that Nadine can take off your mask. The one bedroom going for 125. What? Yeah, one bedroom price from 82 to 97,000. Uh-huh. And the two bedrooms are going for 125. Yeah, 125 to 148. Yeah. And that's USD. USD. Guys, three bedroom from 158 to $187,000. Guys, you can't go wrong with that price. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with the price and location. You can always buy these units and you can rent them. It's just unbelievable deals. And this project, the best thing to be fixed rental income, which means after we bought it, we meant it as a hotel. Mm -hmm. Whatever we have planned or not, you will get fixed income every month. You hear that, guys? Oh, you get yeah. fixed income yeah. every month. Huh? What about kitchen stuff and your furniture so so this is the Greenland information 
the place I just showed you a while ago with the last project just not the last but the project that's gonna be done around the end of next year this is the Greenland so guys I am here in Rwanda the sixth safest country in the world sixth cleanest country in the world and you will see more videos and you can invest in properties to be frank with you if you're in a diaspora you're not investing in Africa don't blame anybody but yourself good deals here good deals and think about it but maybe I am investing in Africa. When I first got off an aeroplane and I set foot in Rwanda, I couldn't believe what I saw. This was a dynamic, young, vibrant, clean country. And I started, I have to tell you, uh, a, a task. I call it hunt the piece of paper, because this is the most immaculate country I have ever seen. And only on one occasion did I see one piece of paper on the pavement. And then within, and I thought, yes, I've seen a piece of paper. Then someone came and picked it up. <laughs> so it was gone. So I'm so impressed um, by how green the country is, how beautiful it is, and I'm afraid you have some beautiful designs which really tempt me. And so I'm sure that when I go back, I'll probably go back with a couple of more of your wonderful dresses. So maybe we'll put that in the film. <laughs> um, and also I, I will never forget going to the lighting ceremony. I think I will never forget that night. It wounded my heart to see the pain that has suffered by this country. And then it delighted my heart to see how out of all that horror has risen one people. One people, beautiful, together, creating an extraordinary country. I think Rwanda has so much to be proud of. And every time I come, it seems somehow to have been made more beautiful. I'm not quite sure how you've done it, but I think you need to share the recipe with other people because it's really good. My research has focused on how Rwanda has rebuilt since the genocide against the Tutsi in 1994. The progress made, the challenges remaining, and the lessons for other countries. The progress is astounding and undeniable, although some do deny it. Poverty has been reduced, life expectancy increased, infant and child mortality has declined, and gender representation in Parliament is the best in the world. This is all undeniable. The World Bank has documented a two-thirds drop in child mortality and near-universal primary school enrollment. Measured by the National Poverty Line, poverty has declined from 77% in 2001 
to under 50% in 2017, while life expectancy at birth has improved from 29 in the mid-1990s to an average of 69 and 71 for women. Before the pandemic, which affected countries, all countries around the world, Rwanda was experiencing robust economic performance, in fact, in the middle of an economic boom before the pandemic. Growth exceeded 10% in 2019, and now that's beginning to rebound. So let's think about it. Since 1994, rapid economic growth and poverty reduction, a focus on gender equity, what other country in the world is doing that, innovative uses of technology and education and healthcare using cell phones and drones. The cleanest, the safest, and in many ways, the most progressive country on the continent. As I said, some try to deny this, but the data are undeniable. We do have to ask ourselves, how has this happened? Positive change doesn't happen by chance. Positive change requires what is called good governance, but we really need to get behind that term. What is good governance? It's visionary leadership. It's leadership focused on results, on justice, on accountability, and on people being the most important natural resource.